Okay, it's that time once again. Time for another installment of My Computer is Stupid. And today's rant is going to be on trying to get the computer to open files with what I want it to use to open files. If that makes any sense. So anyway, as some of you may or may not know, I am pretty partial to 8-bit music, and I've got some of it right here. Got some NSF files, got some Atari SAP files, got some Commodore 64 SID files. Anyway, I wanted to listen to some of my NSF files. Now, the player that I had didn't work, so I uninstalled that and installed something else which does work which we'll just go over to right now to show you that the player does work okay so let's just go back to those files as NSF files bring the player in now it might be a, it might sound a little bit loud on your end there's nothing much I can do about that so before I, before I play any of the music turn your volume down Anyway, so let's just grab an NSF. Let's say um, Cubby's Adventure, because everybody knows that. So yeah, you can see that's working just fine. But let's say I just want to double-click on one of those files in order to play it. So let's just double click on a random NSF here. And it thinks that that file should be opened in Audacity. Well, that's not the program to use to open it. I want it to open that file and those particular kind of files in NSF Play. So I'll tell the computer what program I want it to use to open that file, which is in my documents, and it's right here. NSF Play, so got NSF Play highlighted. I click open, and it still says Audacity. Now, here's a weird thing. Let's just try to open that file in Audacity. And you won't believe this. I certainly didn't believe it when I discovered this. But Audacity can actually open NSF files. When I press stop, there it is. An NSF file opened in Audacity. And to prove that I'm not BSing you, I'll just start that playing. So, as you saw and heard right there, Audacity is opening NSF files absolutely perfectly. Well, not perfectly, because it only plays the first song in the file, but it's doing it. I don't know how, but it's doing it. Let's just close that and bring another NSF into Audacity. Let's do Kirby's Adventure, because we opened that in NSF Play, so let's bring it into Audacity. Now, you can see here, the file size is only about 36 kilobytes, so you can see it's not a wave or an MP3 or any anything like that. It's not a wave, MP3, anything like that. It's just an NSF file which will open in Audacity. So I'll just let that run for about 10 seconds. 
press stop and it's done it but enough about that so let's try to get the files opening in the player that I actually want it to open in. I'm not going to be able to do it, but demonstrate it anyway. So, I'll double click on the file. Now, if you remember, I selected NSF Play, so let's just have a look in this little other programs thing. Do you see it here? It should have added it to this list but it hasn't it's not there so let's just try to do that again so go to the program that I wanted to open the files with which is NSF play so I've selected NSF play still hasn't added it to this list and it still thinks Audacity is the program that it should be open with. So there we go. There's another installment of my computer is stupid. I don't even know what I just selected. So I'm actually going to open that anyway because I've just completely forgotten what file I'm trying to open. I think it was Kirby's Adventure again, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But anyway, yep, like I was saying, that concludes another episode of My Computer is Stupid. Anyway, just a couple of announcements before I go. This is just a quick video I'm doing. I mean, I am, like, up to mine. Up, I am way over my head in, you know, buried in projects at the moment. I'm gonna make a few um I'm gonna make an update video on the future of my channel and what kind of things you can expect from it. Along with a few other things. Anyway, I'm just gonna go upload this to YouTube. So until next time, goodbye. Which will probably be in a couple of days or so.